Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Mim's house. Um, I hope I hope everybody had a great Fourth of July here in America. Um, it was really nice. Uh, we were we cooked out and stuff, and then had just a few little fireworks. It stormed, so it had a lot of lightning in it. So we didn't stay outside long. So we had to kind of wait till later to do. Our fireworks and I hope our um, neighbors was not too upset it would there were very many of them so <laughs> hopefully they understood I apologize to y'all if you you know if it woke you up or anything like that <laughs> but um, I am back from gall surgery um, I had it the, the day after 4th of July and it was a walk in the park oh my goodness uh, no uh, I did not have to take any pain medicine whatsoever. It's nothing that I couldn't handle already. Um, I've had a lot of pain that I deal with with um, a connective tissue autoimmune disease um, on a daily basis. Some some weeks is better than others. Some days are better than others. Um, some days I'll be good all day, and then for some reason around five and six o'clock at night I'll get to feeling really sick and that's when you are supposed to be cooking and you know you just really don't feel like you want to want to cook because you just sick to your stomach or something you know it's just a weird feeling but anyways I'm doing a lot better um, not all of it was attributed to a gallbladder attack that I'm finding out um, however uh, it's been really hard to to diagnose what's going on because I do have um, chronic inflammation that comes up with this autoimmune that attacks several different um, uh, organs in your body including your skin um, right now it's kind of quiet so I'm that's that's good having some good days and some bad days and then you know but it's nothing that I'm not used to so the pain was level after having um, surgery was, I couldn't believe it. I was, I just, I couldn't believe how it just, I didn't have to take any pain medicine, not even Tylenol. Um, even though the nurses and all was like, you got to take this stuff. You got to stay ahead of it. And I, I, I don't want to take anything if I can't handle it. And, you know, I'll take it if I can't handle it. And so... The Lord blessed me with a lot of prayer from a lot of you out there, a lot of my family and friends and my Facebook friends that are all over the world, and um, I really appreciate it, and I pray the Lord bless you 100,000 times more than that prayer that you took time to pray for me uh, did for me. I, I just I want the Lord to just hug you and bless you and keep you in his hands um so today what i'm going to do is i i want to update my work in progress that i'm doing um currently and uh give you a little update on some of the new things that i have and some mail openings so um let's get started first of all this is new I got a, a magnifying light LED glass. Well, I haven't got it hooked up. Anyways, I'm sorry. But that right there is like coming out of the dark ages. I, I'm telling you, I have the A3. This is my A3 pad right here that you can see. That backlights the letters. And you're talking about little teeny tiny squares. I like square diamond paintings. Um, when I got this, <laughs> they become huge. And I could see really clearly what each one was. And I wasn't missing as many. I wasn't having to go back right at the end when you think you're almost done with a section. You have all these little squag holdouts where you've missed them miss certain ones and so you're opening and closing opening and closing your um your bead containers to find that one to go in here and then you have to change to another one to go in here and there and everything and you see sorry that's where my id was 
But um, anyways, I wanted to let you know this I got at Amazon. And um, let me see how much it was. I do love it. I love it. And I, I looked at um, all sorts of others in the reviews and I uh, saw where someone used, uh, had used this for diamond painting or cross stitch and they loved it. So um, I got this from Amazon from Bright Tech. Um, and it's the Bright Tech Light View Flex Super Bright LED Magnifier Lamp with Clamp Daylight Bright LEDs. It's a white light. It's not a, a warm light. It's a white light. Um, and that's just what the app looked like. Okay. Um, and it, they have two colors. They have white and black. I guess it is black. Yeah, white and black. Let's see. I have two colors, white and black, and you see the price. I paid $29 for it, and um, it, it does ship with Prime, so there's no shipping with it that you have to pay. I did not get the warranty, um, but yeah, this this was just absolutely, see, it, it clamps on really well. And this is also my table that I use when I want to um, di diamond paint while I'm watching TV at the couch. And what it is, it's a hospital table where one side has the up and down. You can, you can actually go up and down with it. And so I put everything on that when I'm uh, diamond painting. So that helps me stay in with the family instead of all the way in here in the dining room. Um, and I can actually go take it into the bedroom and diamond paint while I'm in the bedroom if I wanted to do that. So, um, anyways, my work in progress right now, as you all may know, is what I call the little EMS squad. And I'm over halfway. This has just got a few left to do. You can see a little bit of the, the areas that isn't finished. But overall, I'm quite pleased. It is a uh, 45 by 60. Got it from AliExpress. The wind is really bad outside today. Got it from AliExpress. Um, it's the shop is called Paint Painting Imagine Store. Painting Imagine Store, and you can even see the little license plate, their little little um, buggy that they've made into their little EMS truck, and he's got his little doctor bag and all. Um, it could be a little bit larger if you wanted the face to be a little bit more detailed, um, because there are a lot of details in this. You can see the actual porch and everything back there, but you know what it is. So 45 by 60 is 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 fine if you're not really wanting to be, you know, oh, it's got to be HD, you know. So this is my progress. I average in a section about two days, maybe two and a, um, a third. Um, and then once this one's done, I, I peel this one back down and do this section. You can see where it's already creased. That's my halfway point. And I just half them and just go on down. Now, when this gets a little bit too much in my way, I will trim this off. But, and some people take this off to all together. They don't like this. Um, it does tend to, if you tear it, it will leave paper stuck on your canvas. If you get paper, I mean, some people, I've, I've done it. If you diamond paint and you have an inventory sheet and you have it with you, you're going to accidentally lay it down on your sticky, I'm making bubbles, sticky side. And what happens is you're going to pull it up and it's just going to rip the paper on there. And you're going to like, oh no, what do I do, what do I do? Get you some baby wipes or a wet paper towel. And 
rub it with that wet paper towel. It don't have to be sopping wet now. Um, baby wipe wet. And it will literally soften that paper and you will be able to pull, it, it will come right up. And it will, as it dries, it goes back just as sticky as, it, as if it never ever had paper stuck on it. So there's another tip. Okay, so this is, you can actually see by the glare where the sticky still is and where I ha have to fill in with my diamonds. Um, I think I've done enough of this to give a review of this shop. I've bought a lot from the shop. I have not actually done the picture, finished, completed a picture from them. Because I have to, now they're good that this little store is good to replace anything missing. Um, in my last video, I had one that came from there that had a lot of creases from the rubber bands that they pl placed on there. I have decided to just keep them and do them anyways. I'm gonna try to flatten them. I may even try the the low, low, low iron on there with a, with a um, cloth in between with it turned upside down and see if I can't get that to help. Um, but I don't want to waste those canvases and I don't want to, you know, I, it, it, it is their fault and they should, and they were, they would have probably, you know, I have been talking with them, but I told, I wanted to, mainly just to let them know not to put the rubber bands on there. So it's more of a feedback thing for them. With that said, now that I have actually done a picture, at least I haven't completed the whole thing, the trash is minimal. There's not that much trash, but tabs, mismatched sized, um, some diamonds are bigger, fatter, and some are smaller. Um, they're not uniform. I'm having a lot of issues with popping drills. I can literally probably feel one and pop one back in right here. And I use a rolling pin to flatten each, each section as I go after I put it in. That's another thing that is good about having the magnifying mirror is you can see where something isn't uh, going down good and you can push it down and you can see where you put in something that might be upside down. Um, when you work at night, a lot of times, at our house is like the dungeon. We do not have a lot of light in our house. So, um, cause they do gaming and stuff, uh, Fortnite, and I haven't seen them play that in a while, but there's this, there's another one that looks like Fortnite and um, I forget what the name is that they play. Um, and they have a VR headset, which we have to actually add light for that one. But anyways, I digress. But anyways, the, um, the diamonds on here don't have a lot of trash, but there's a lot of tabs. The three tens were the, were, are, are the problem here. There's some, there are a lot of three tens, which is the black. Um, and they're the ones that are bigger, smaller, bigger, fatter, smaller, chunkier, um, and have tabs on them and so they don't click together. The square ones like to sit exactly together um, and they cover up most of the canvas where you can't see. So now I just pop one back in. <laughs> but anyways, that's, that is, it's almost so much aggravation that I don't want to order from them again. When I, when I really look at overall everything I love their customer service they're the greatest people I mean really sweet really nice and try to help me but I'll just report back to them every time I do one and tell them you know hey this is what I found I'll take a picture of them um, and see if that will help their quality control they may go and say okay we're not buying the three tenths from this company no more or however they do it in their, their factory or whatever. So, um, 
that's the only way they can improve is if somebody gives them feedback. And I hate to feel like you want to think, well, she complains all the time. I'm happy. I love the unique little pictures that they have. They have a lot of the unique ones that you don't, you see a lot of the same pictures in every store. And this was unique. This was very, very unique. There's a little girl sitting here that's in a nurse, nurse outfit and all. And I just, I can't wait to get this done. So I'm working on it and working on it really quickly. Anyway, so that's my work in progress. An update on that store on a, um, actually completing, trying to com get it completed. Um, let's go on to our, oh, this one, There's two in that one. Okay, and guess what? I found my little scissors. I had placed them under something in the living room. So I'm glad I found them and not the grandbabies. That wouldn't have been good at all. Just where I was uh, uh, diamond paint in front of the TV and at night. Um, most of the time, <laughs> Most of the time, my husband just as soon as he eats, he he gets horizontal on the on the recliner, and it's like the baby dolls. You know, as soon as you get them horizontal, they would close their eyes. That he fusses that I don't fix supper early when he gets home. But if I did, I'd never see him with his eyes open. Seriously. <laughs> so it would be like come to the door eat and then it'd be you know everybody knows that I know there's women out there who feel my pain anyways I love him he worked really hard he's a brick mason um, supervisor now he's worked up to being a supervisor instead of a foreman he really worked so hard my dad when my dad uh, also does brick um, he you're gonna get to meet my dad soon i'm going to do some videos on his books that he has at um amazon he's waited his whole life to get his books published and once he published his first three he has been writing books i got so many books to put on amazon that he has been writing like crazy this little man is 78 years old and has just the best storytelling and I can't wait for you to meet him. But anyways, he was a he was a brick mason. Um, I don't know why I did that. I could have just peeled that up. I did this again. Okay, so now I have to tear the thing up. That means I have to unfold this, and it's got to stay out in my stash. I have a stash over here that's that thing. <laughs> I'm not going to show it to you. Not yet. I may do another video just to show you what's all in there. I have some lip... I have some really um, unique ones. I, I don't like just the run of the mill, same old things. But this little old man is my dad, and I love him so much, Jim Smith. If you want to look up his books online, I'll, I'll leave links to them in the, the description. But he's wrote three um, Call of the Dove by Jim Wade Smith. And uh, the Christmas, Christmas Kid, Rance Rainey, The Christmas Kid, and uh, which is a Western. The first one is a post-Civil War romance drama that has murder, mystery, and all that in there. Um, the second one is a, a Western that is just my absolute favorite. It's so good. I mean, it's page drama. There's no cursing. There's nothing bad in these books. These are wonderful Christian books. Uh, they're not, it's not like the Christian is, is the theme of it. It's, it's just family friendly. That's what I'm trying to say, that they don't have the cursing and all that stuff. And, it, and then his third book is uh, based on his growing up in the North Carolina Appalachian Mountains. Um, I told Dad, I said, well, you know, there's not anything written to let people know what it was like growing up into those mountains. Um, we have Huckleberry Finn, Tom Sawyer, where the, where the red fern grows, that's out in the Ozarks, but there's none about the Appalachian Mountains. So he, he got up a lot of things that happened to him, his experiences, in those mountains growing up in uh, North Carolina, near Mount Mitchell, uh, to base 
his stories on. Um, it's really interesting, and if you have a chance, go check it out. But anyways, he he always said that my husband was going to work himself to death because he worked so hard. Okay, now, these are from eBay, and I'm going to pull it up and see if I can tell you how much each one cost. I like to get a, I like to get out under five bucks. Um, a lot of times I do. And let's see if I can get my eBay up. Just one second. Now the one problem with eBay is most of them are small. Um, so I look for things that are up close. I'm sorry. Um, up close and. Okay, what's in my cart? I have seven things. No, I don't. Okay. I'll go to my eBay. Now look. See, I had um, Amazon up on here for you for the light. And so now I should have already had the eBay up. Um, I've got several that's on the way that I forgot about. Okay, it's not showing this one. My eBay. It's not showing it. It may have already been took, taken off. Because once they remove the item, Oh, here it is. Found it. No, that's not it. That's the one that looks like it. I like to do sets, you know. Um, the picture's gone. No, it ain't. Oh. I wanted to show you the picture. Thank you. This is how much I paid for it. $3.27. That's what it looks like. To me, it's a, it's like my Lord in all this beautiful uh, galaxy of, of immenseness <sighs> is looking up into the heavens, into, the, into his vast, vast galaxies, expanse, and just thinking about each one of us and how he loves us. That's what this picture means to me. And I got it for $3.27. And I think it's gonna turn out really pretty. Um, it's got 17 colors. It does have the, 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 D, the DP numbers, so that way I can save them. Um, it is square, which I'm so excited it's square. And I'm going to show you now, it does come kind of creased. But remember, this is where they have, when you have this, this means that they poured the glue on and then put a plastic top on it, cover on it. So what you do, I'm trying to get it to where you can see a little better what I'm doing. And you pull this back and then flatten it out and try to get it a little more flat and see that it, it will and see I will do this multiple times when I come in here if I see that it's not flattening out too good I'll just say well I'll pull it back again and see how it is but you can see it's the creases in the paper and the plastic and there are some little creases in the picture I don't know if you can see it very well. I'm trying to get a glare to where it will help you see it. Oh. But it's not so it's not too bad. There may be a few bubbles and I'll I'll get them out with my tweezers or whatever. Okay. And see now that really the plastic is really, 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 really wrinkled. So it's it's you're just not gonna get that out right now. I'm trying, but you just keep doing this. Put it under something. Books, big old heavy books. 
I have some Monet and some Whistler artist books that are big and heavy. No, I think Mom's got my whistle. Mom's got the whistle ones. I bought those for her because we are actually related to James Abbott McMill Whistler, the America's number one, I mean, well, not number one, but most famous uh, master painter. Um, okay. These are the diamonds that came with it. You know, my daughter's going to be so mad at me, I just realized. She's like, everybody's got that. Those lights right there, and that's what they light themselves up with whenever they're, they're vlogging. So I'm like, after I, I'm like, look how pretty. And then I thought, it would probably look really nice if I had the light on instead of just having the, the natural light. But anyway, you can see how this one has come. This is the first time I think I've gotten the silver. Um, and so what you do is you always just check and see. This one did not come with the um, inventory to where I know for a fact that it, they sent me the right amount of diamonds. So I'm kind of going on a limb there, but $3.71. You can't complain. I'll print this out probably blow it up a little larger so I can put it on my my um containers. 17 colors. Let's just count and make sure that we have 17. So now they've there's two ones and that is it does smell like oil. Um it does have a uh, it's almost a a moldy oily smell which it's not the greatest, but it airs out. Um, you have to watch for oil. Just what they put in the machines to keep these from, keep the machine going to, to cut these out and everything. So there's two ones, and they, they are purple. They are very deep purple. Um, and this is 310. This is the black. I got two of those. Um, number three is a navy. Then you've got number four, which is a little bit of green. I said number five is an orange. Number six is more of a red orange, a red. Um, what kind of red would that be? No red orange. Well, no cranberry. It's almost a cranberry color. This is a lavender or a pink. That's more pink. Um, light green, mint green. Mint green, if I'm low, I'm sorry, you're a little further away. Um, this is like my shirt. It's a coral color, love it. Here's um, this is more of a reddish coral. This is more of a red coral, and this is more of a pink coral. Coral, then you've got your yellows, light yellows, and then a, a, a lighter coral, similar to my shirt, um, white or off-white, um, great purple, and then another three nine, nine three nine, sorry, dyslexic, see I said that backwards, that my dyslexic is numbers. You can have it with letters, with words. It's what everybody usually associates dyslexia with, or right or left, you say, everything backwards. Anyways, um, this is the, they're, they're a bluish black, navy black. And uh, this one also is more of a galaxy, it's more of a galaxy black. Um, and then you have more of the pink. Coral. Okay, so. And see, that ended with 17. Good. I don't have any that are broken. Let 
none of the bags are burst. None of them have burst. I'm going to try to put it back in this, this little bag. It'll have the number of the the picture on there, which is F105. Always check and make sure you've got the right diamond kit, diamonds, that matches your picture number. And I'll show you where those are. Anyway, and the number is up usually on your page. It will always have a number on this most of the time. I haven't seen one yet that didn't. F one o two, F one o five. Sorry, I'm reading backwards. Um, yep, J S F one o five right there on your diamonds. So it's hot in here. Dying. Okay, there's that one. Now we got two more. I'm sorry, everybody. It's, it's hot in here. I take a lot. Of, I have kidney disease as well, so I'm ha I have to take um, blood pressure medicine, and it and the blood pressure medicines are have been going just really stupid, crazy, with all the recalls because they've been putting. They get them filled, manufactured in other countries, and so they've been finding things in them that's not good. Okay, oh, see, now it's July, and the reason why they have, you know, Christmas in July, <laughs> I guess, because some things you have to make um, as your decorations or whatever you're getting ready for your planning of all that. I'm so sorry, I'm sweating. So, um, I can't help it. Some medicine makes me do that. Um, anyways, this one is also an eBay. Come on out. It doesn't want to come out of its bag. It isn't there tight. Okay. Come on out. There we go. Um... And we all know what this is. It's the manger with my Lord and Savior, Mary and Joseph, his adopted dad. Um, and it's so sweet and cute. It could have been bigger if you wanted the, de the detail. But like I said, it's from eBay. And let's check to see how much I paid for that one. That's my bag. Let's see. This one, I... Oh, goodness. Why does it flip? It flips back and forth. Okay. I paid $6.13 for this one, which that's fine. It's in under ten dollars. It's under seven dollars, and in it's free shipping. So you can't beat that. They ship it to you free. So I absolutely refuse. The only time I'll pay shipping on a diamond painting is if it's one that I can't get anywhere else, and I just fell in love with it. It's, it is. It has to be great. So. There we go. It has 20 colors. There's 20 colors in that one. And there, again, little creases, which is okay. I'm trying to get it flat. To lay flat. Bubbles out. Oh, I got a big bubble in that. Okay, okay. Big old bubble. That helped. Let's see, now that, you can see it's a lot straighter on the side that I pulled back, and it's not on this. So, you can tell how much that does help, even with the little um, clear 
these little flimsy clear covers, but like, I, oh, I forgot to tell you, what a lot of people do is they take off that cover. They don't like those covers at all. I probably didn't get finished with that. I'm so OCD that I cannot finish what I'm saying. You've probably all seen that. I'm so sorry. Um, people take the covers off and put parchment paper in sections. They go ahead and um, cut their parchment paper in sections. So that way they just pull them off as they go. Um, parchment paper, do not use wax paper. The wax will come off onto your painting and then your beads won't. Don't do that. Parchment paper the in the cooking section is all you need if you want to replace it. If, you, if something happens to this. Now there is a top and a bottom of this. So if you take this whole thing off and try to put it back on or cut some of it and try to put it back on, if you put it on the wrong side, it's going to be hard to pull up and you may pull some of your sticky glue up off your canvas. So um, be aware of that. Try not to get that mixed up, my, you know, and I, I, I have done that myself. So all of this is speaking through experience. Okay. The number on this one is upside down. W. 305 this is a 30 by 40 centimeter so remember take the zero off four times three 12 four times four 16 18 19. anyways that tells you how big the, ca the, the canvases. Of course, you would want to, I always cut the sides off whenever I go to put them on. I like to glue them on stretched canvas. And um, I cut these off. I have a rotor, a uh, fabric roller. Okay, so what was that number again? W305. A fabric cutter. It looks like a pizza roller. W305 is correct. We have 19, co 20 colors, and we're going to go through those really quickly with you. I just love Christmas, and I knew that if you're going to be doing any Christmas diamond painting, you better go ahead and start looking out for the pictures you want, and going ahead and get them, because you, it may take a month to get them. Um, eBay, it doesn't seem to take quite that long. AliExpress, you can imagine, you just always, okay, I'm ordering now for next month. Um, then you've got to realize how long it's going to take you to do the finished painting and then get it on a canvas so you can display it at Christmas. And that's November, uh, in the November, unless you like to decorate before Thanksgiving, some people do, and which is fine. Um, a lot of people, oh, I can't, I can't stand it when people decorate before Thanksgiving. Um, it's, look, the Lord's birth is another thing to be thankful for. Having the Lord in your life is another thing to be thankful for. And it should be Christmas all year round. But I know a lot of people, you know, they get tired of it. But that's fine. That's fine. It's everybody. I'm not saying I, that's just how I feel. I will decorate when I, you know, with my help, I have to decorate it when I can, sometimes I can't. Um, but there again, it's just to each his own, whichever you want to do. But I was just letting you know that if you're going to give you some Christmas diamond paintings, you might as well start looking for them, saving up for them, squeaking in eBay, $3, $4. Remember, auction only diamond painting search auction only you can do newest i mean uh ending soonest first just to make sure you there may be one that's like only got two dollars on it bid that's going to end in like 30 minutes and you can really quickly bid on that one and most of the time you'll get it um and i'm like that's really cheap so anyways 
these are the colors in this one. And you can tell it has a lot of blue, a lot of dark colors. That's a more of a uh, gray blue. It's coming off as purple on the screen, but there's gray. I'm sorry for the crinkling. I should be talking louder. Blue. Um, that's more of a sky blue. This is more of a navy blue. Gray. More gray. Now here's the little brown and beiges. That's a little bit of a, a green gray. It's a pretty green gray. Um, stone gray, right? Oh, you can see some hitchhikers. They've got some other colors in with their beads. This is a round. You can tell they're round. Which shows a little bit more of the canvas. I like square. It's going to be hard to kind of... keep all. I keep all my diamonds. from my leftover diamonds, I keep them all. I don't throw them away, unless it's trash. If it's bad diamonds that's misshapen, tabbed or anything like that, it gets thrown away. There we go. There is that one. And now we have this last one to do. Sorry, I'm running a little long. Let me know in the comments if I'm too long or if you enjoy having the long. Because there's some people out there that don't work and that stay at home, like me, stay at home mom. That sometimes you love to, I mean, just hearing somebody, I'll turn on YouTube and be watching other diamond painting um, YouTube channels. And I just like to hear the rambling, you know. I, I like to see their tips too. And, and the, the pictures that they like, that they choose. I see a lot of them myself, and I will be thinking, maybe I'll get that one, but then when I see them get it and it looks really pretty, I'll be like, okay, I'll keep my eye open for that again. I may get that one. This is another round and another Christmas scene. Oh, and guess what? There's, there's the, the tool thing. I haven't really paid attention if the, yeah, well, they, they come with tools. There's all three. You get so many of these because every picture comes with them. Some of them come with two. Um, that I have a box full and I'm going to just donate them to the kindergarten class or whatever. They can put paint or whatever in there for their little crafts, whatever. So, anyways, this is another that matches the other one. And I loved it. It's the, the shepherds in the field and the star, seeing the star. Um, and you know, you don't see a lot of pictures with the little children. And we know that the children were you, were help, help their parents watch the sheep, mind the sheep. Because you know, David, that's what he was doing. And that's where he, what he was doing while he was writing a lot of the Psalms. He was singing those, and you know, a lot of them to, to keep the sheep um, calm, they would sing to them. And so I just, to me, it's different. And me, I have to have something different. Not the run-of-the-mill Catholic halo and all that stuff. That's fine if you like it. But I like this. This is more personal to me. It's not too clinical, stark, you know, it's just, this is more because they're handing down to their children what they're doing and the children are doing. They usually love, I mean, it's hard to explain. To all you out there that know about King David and know the Lord Jesus, understand exactly what I'm saying. And if you don't, you feel free to message me and I will explain any question you have. If I can't explain it, if I can't find the answer, I will. If 
find it, go and find it until I can help you or find someone that can. So don't ever think that you're by yourself. The Lord sends, see, I'm a stay-at-home mom. And I'm like, what can I do for the Lord? You wouldn't believe the things that my Lord has sent to me to do for him that are just my pleasure. Just wonderful things. People that have problems that they want, they're needing help. Uh, I'm not talking about people that's always, you know, give me money, I need help, give me money. It, not that. I mean emotional, serious situations that they need someone that will help guide them through it maybe be a voice for the Lord I don't want it to be my voice I want it to be what the Lord would say to them and I pray that what I say to you is the right thing that may touch you and help you through whatever you're going through if you're not going through anything that's great but there's a lot of people going through anything now being a Christian doesn't mean that you're going to go through life perfect. Mm -mm. Oh, these are all in pieces. Okay, and I didn't show you how much I paid for that one. Okay. No, your life is not perfect. Even after being uh, accepting Jesus as your Savior. You're, it's not perfect. Um, it's going to flip off and then I have to do it again there we go crazy thing um and so I paid five seventeen for it which is just fine free shipping and it is a you may have already sent it 30 by 40 I, I try not to go any that's pretty much the average whoops it's pretty much the average of what you're going to get on eBay is a 30 by 40. Um, my big ones, I, I, they will always turn out better and prettier. But if you if you don't, you can't put big ones on the wall. I mean, you have to have a lot of wall space. Um, and I can, I can, everybody's asking me, what are you going to do with those? You got so many. Well, you just, um, You just switch them out. Don't you ever get tired of what you have on your wall? Isn't it nice to be able to switch them out? Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to do one, two, three, and four. It's going to be it's pretty blue. That's probably the three tens. These do not have the... They just have the numbers. Uh, number two. They don't have the DP numbers nope. so I'm just going to make sure that they go to number 20 there's 20 in here two three is a gray is a pretty powder gray powder blue I'd say soft powder blue um, gray uh, four Five is beautiful blue. Pretty blue. Six. Excuse me, I've got the burps. Gray. Seven is a pretty brown um, leather color. Seven. Leather brown lighter color than that. We have the eight. That's all eight. That was eight. This is nine. We're on nine. It's more of an ochre, I guess you would say, wouldn't you say? My mom, who's watching, would say, yes, that's ochre. God, she was. She's probably yelling at screen. It's not ochre, it says. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. Write in the comments, Mom. What color that was? Is this ochre? I think it is. Write in the comments. <laughs> Write in the <laughs> comments. Hmm. Anyways, there's 
Number 11. Number 12 is a little lighter. It's, it's about the same as the other um, 13. 14 is a pretty blue. 15 is another blue. It's darker. Really pretty. Okay, now we're going to go 16. It's more of a navy blue. 17 is another blue. 18. I'm so, I'm so hot. Sorry, brown. <laughs> 19, it's another brown, and 20. Yeah. All right, so anyway, so we do have all full 20 of our beads, diamonds, you know what I'm calling beads, and then here. I'm going to roll it back. Oop, wait a minute. i got to make sure it's not... Oh, my gosh. If you haven't seen my um, hiccup, my... Um... My last video is... The... <laughs> Where I actually stuck one of the paintings onto the table and I had to pull it up. And, you know, it was reviewed, too, of, of that company. Um, with it having um, creases and stuff in there. But anyways, um, it was very disappointing. That's why I called it a hiccup. <laughs> but it's more comedy than anything. But yeah, so whenever I do have some sneak peeks, if you'd like to see them, of what is coming up that I have. Whoops. I'm going to try to go down. Um, I have this one already in a bigger size. These are some that I have gotten in on eBay. Some of them are not, most of them was $4, $3, one of them was $12, but it's a bigger picture and it's really nice. So, um, and then this one has an American flag on here very patriotic and some more Christmas a line lays down with a lamb a lot of new stuff so um, those are on their way oh happy Amazon Prime Day I did find some Prime Day, day deals, so go on there. You'll uh, There was one that was really big that we've been watching for a while that's really expensive that was cut really reasonable. So, yeah, you'll find some Prime Day deals, so make sure you look in on that. Um, don't miss out. You may have a picture that you've had, um, and if you've had it in your car, click on it because it may go and show the discount once you click on it and go to its actual page in your card it won't show it that it's actually a prime day deal until you you add it to the cart or whatever you know you just play around with it anyways i'm running long i'm so sorry um what's the matter quackers hey baby hey baby Oh, it's got to climb all the way around. Peekaboo. <laughs> you can't, you cannot, you, you cannot resist peekaboo. <laughs> you want to tell them to come in? <laughs> and uh, what you doing? What you doing? You, you, you don't want to say that? No? Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Quackers. 
Oh, now you're going to be hush mouth, huh? <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad you got to hear her. Um, you probably, I'm so used to hearing her squawk or whatever, or do whatever in the background. Y'all may notice it before I do um, throughout the videos, but anyways, she's our little mascot. And some, I'll get something to where I can put her uh, over here maybe sometime. But um, she likes to fly if something makes her uncomfortable, and a lot of the stuff on the table makes her uncomfortable. Ain't that right? No? It's not? You don't get uncomfortable? Hmm? Oh, well. I hope everybody um, has a great week, uh, rest of the week. I'm going to try to do some videos for my dad on his books. Um, and I may even do some cooking videos on some of the things that I, I cook that a lot of people want recipes for. Um, all kinds of things. If you can think of things that you'd like me to do, uh, post in the comments. If this is running too long and you think way too long, Lara, you need to cut it down, major cut it down. Um, just let me know in the comments. Please be nice and um, I pray that the Lord help you in any way possible that you need this week and on and please accept him as your Savior because I'm telling you once you have him in your life there is nothing like it. You don't have any worry. I'm sure you, well you do have normal worries but you don't have to worry so much because you're in his hand and nothing happens to you that he hasn't already ordained for it to happen to you and he does it knowing that you and him both can get through it he doesn't he tells you in the scripture he does not give you more than you can handle than handle it with him so um i hope you join me for my next video and keep like subscribe and hit the bell so that way you'll know when my newest ones go up Thank you so much for watching. God bless.